uh, hello YouTube so my name is Efosa Daniel Oyi I'm from Nigeria but I'm currently in Poland for my studies and I learned about 42 a few weeks back like I really have no knowledge of coding so I discovered this whole thing of having to do the PC and surviving the pool then you get into 42 Wolfsburg and I decided why not just give it a try because I really like coding and it was during this my university my university was on semester break at the time so I think about two weeks into the PC in my school actually resumed so it became really tough for me but in the end I was able to make it past the PC and I got informed that I passed the PC in, so I was really happy about the news now fast forward till today and today is my first day of being a student of 42 Wolfsburg and it has really been an exciting experience for me so far although I haven't been able to I was unable to attend the kickoff meeting on site because of my schedule i'm still planning on i'm still working on relocating from here in poland to germany so but the whole information system is really good for us who we are unable to attend the kickoff on site so It's really been a good experience so far. <sighs> so, what I learned from the PC, I think I'll have to talk about that some other time. I just wanted to make this video as my first day of being a student of 42 Wolfsburg. Maybe in a week or two, I'll be able to come up with a better video. As you can see, I'm in my bedroom, so it's late at night. And this is probably my first time doing a video for YouTube. So the audio quality might not be very high, but I just wanted to document this. And maybe some of you might stumble upon this video in the future while trying to gather information about the PC my advice for people who future PC is just like 42 Wolfsburg is a school of where you don't have a tutor so they provide us learning environment for us to get the opportunity to learn so is this not like you're coming to a normal university is it normal like what's the english word for that like a standard type of university where you have professors no so just have this in the back of your mind when you're doing your pc the PC for me is just like, yes, it's challenging. It's really challenging, especially if you, if you be like me, like you have zero knowledge of C, like programming knowledge before the PC, it would be a bit tough. But just understand the fact that the PC doesn't really care whether you are an experienced programmer or you are still new to programming with. Maybe you've probably never written a code before the PC. You have nothing to worry about. Just focus on have it in the back of your mind that 42 is a school 
that creates the enabling environment for programmers to learn. So with that in mind, if you are learning without a lecturer, a professor teach, telling you what to do, your best, support, your best support system should be your fellow peer learners. So during the PC, try to form good relationships with your peers, work together as a group. And then, by doing that, you are contributing to the learning experience of other learners. And also, you are learning in the process. That is what 42 Wolfsburg. In fact, that is what the whole 42 schools stands for. So, just have it in the back of your mind. Don't, don't worry. It's not like... The piscine is meant to filter or take only the best, no. The best, like, yes, it wants the best, the best student that suits 42's mode of learning, not like the best programmer. So, if I can make it past the piscine with <laughs> no knowledge of C, so I don't think anyone should be worried about that. Just do the best you can focus on working together with work as a group and help others learn while you are also learning and if you have any difficulty don't forget to don't hesitate to ask for help that is how we learn so i think that should be all for today with time as my learning experience grows my programming experience grows because i believe it definitely will after i'm a student of 42 now so I hope to make a better video in the future where I'll talk more about my learning experiences so far at the school. So, bye bye, guys. See you some other time. And if you have any questions, maybe you can also drop it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, although <laughs> we only have one video for now. Just subscribe, subscribe, and I'll come up with better videos for you guys in the future. So see you. Bye-bye.